Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to add integers. And in the first part of our video, we will talk about the rules of addition of integers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now, these are the possibilities that we have. So for the type of numbers, the first thing we encounter natin is adding positive and positive integer. So, if ang integers nyo ay parehas na positive and positive, ang kailangan nyo gawin is to add the numbers. And basically, the result is positive. And for example, this one, 10 and 15, this is positive, and this is also positive. You need to add 10 and 15, that is 25. And for the result, the answer is also positive. And another thing na kailangan nyo tingnan dito is kapag naman kayo ay nag-add ng two negative integers. So, anong operation natin doon? We will add the integers. And syempre, the result is basically negative kasi you added two negatives, therefore the sum is also negative. And for the example, we have here negative 10. This is negative. And then negative, what you need to do is to add 10 plus 15, that is 25, and then copy the sign of the integers, which is negative. Let's move on with the third rule. Itong dalawang to, ito yung third uh, scenario natin, we're in different signs yung, mad, yung kailangan natin i-add the integers. Kasi yung first natin are both positive, the second one are both negative, ito naman different signs. So let's do this one. Kapag positive plus negative, you need to subtract. Again, pag positive plus negative, you need to subtract. Ngayon, sir, why is that the result is positive? Nangyayari to, if the positive integer is greater than the negative integer. I mean the absolute value of it. Okay? Example ito. We have negative 10 plus 5. 1 is negative and the other is positive. As you can see, sabi dito subtract. So, ang gagawin mo dito sa mind mo, what you need to do is 15 minus 10. And it will give you the answer of 5. Now, for the result naman, since this is positive, anong gagawin mo? Tingnan mo muna, anong sa dalawang to ang may mas mataas na absolute value? Definitely, the one with a greater absolute value is 15. That's why you will copy the sign of 15 which is positive. That's why this is positive 5. Now let's go with this one. Negative plus positive and then sabi dito subtract because different signs. Yung ito sa ito lagi may subtract. Tapos for the result sabi dito negative. This one is negative if the absolute value of the negative number is greater than the absolute value of the positive number. Example, ito din yung mabuti ah. Compare natin itong dalawang to. 10 plus negative 15. So since magkaiba sa ng sign, subtract. So sa mind mo, kayo mo 15 minus 10. That is equal to 5. Now, ano magdetermine ng sign ng final answer natin? Compare 10 and negative 15, which one has the greater absolute value? Very good. Square to negative 15 has the greater absolute value. That's why we will copy its sign. And the answer is negative 5. Ngayon, para mas practice natin yung rules na napag-usapan natin dito, let's go with these examples. Sabi dito, add the following integers. Now, look at this one. In letter A, we are given negative 12 plus 25. So, do they have the same signs? Hindi. Magkaiba ang kanilang sign. This is negative and this is positive. So, anong gagawin natin dito? We will subtract. So, sa mind natin, gawin natin dito 25 minus 12. What is the answer? The answer is 13. Ngayon, it's time for you to decide anong sign ang gagamitin natin. Is it the positive or negative? Tinamin dalawang to. Which one has the greater absolute value? Is it the 
25 or negative 12? Definitely 25. So we will copy the positive sign. So this is positive 13 or simply 13. Okay? Now let's have this one. 0 plus negative 11. Since this one has no value, 0 lang siya, plus negative 11, definitely, the answer is negative 11. No argument about it. Negative 11 is sagot natin dyan. Let's move on with item letter C. For letter C, negative 40 plus 33. Different signs, subtract. So, sa mind natin, kunin natin yung 40, then 33, minus 33. What is the answer? The answer is 7. Now, for the sign, which one has the greater absolute value? This one is has the greater absolute value, which is negative. Therefore, we will copy the negative sign. And the answer is negative 7. Okay, guys, for, number five, for letter D, I will allow you to pause the video and try to answer this one using the rules that we have um, discussed earlier. You can pause the video for a while. Okay guys, let's go with number with letter D. Negative 15 plus negative 23. And uh, negative 27 rather. As you can see, para silang negative. Para sa negative, add mo lang yung numbers. You have 15 plus 27. The answer is 42. And the two numbers has negative sign, therefore this is negative. Okay? Let's move on with letter E. 38 plus negative 22 plus 19. So dito, in this case guys, what you need to do, ako ang discard ko dito, since tatlo silang integer, I will go first with the two integers with the same sign. Ito, saka ito. So that is 38 plus 19. The answer is, what? 57. Tapos meron akong negative 22. So I have plus negative 22. As you can see, different signs yan. So pwede gawin dito, subtract them. 57 plus negative 22. Okay, that is 35. 35. Ngayon, decide tayo which sign yung gagamitin natin. Is it the positive 57? Or the negative 22. Mas mataas yung absolute value ng 57. That's why this is positive 35 or simply 35. So, and guys, sana nakuha niyo yung lesson natin about the rules. Tapos yung examples natin. And as part of our routine, I will give you example letter F. And I hope na masagutan niyo ito sa ating comment section. I will give you negative... 50 plus 20. Please comment down below what is your answer in this kind of problem. And guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!